everybody, I'm Julia and this is Julia at Home. Welcome to this video on dinosaurs. I am sure many of you, like me, have kids that love dinosaurs. So I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old right now and they their request for the school year was to study dinosaurs. So we did this within the context of our larger prehistory unit. You can see my video on Big Bang and Evolution, I will link it and um, look forward to my video on early man. Those are all parts of our prehistory unit. But this video is on dinosaurs and I have a lot of resources so I'm just gonna jump right in. So this is my gigantic stack of books. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through them all with you. Um, we've got How to Be a Dinosaur Hunter. This is one I got for my daughter for her birthday a couple years ago actually um, because we had taken it out from the library so many times. Um, and it's really fun. It, it goes through different areas of the world and where they found different dinosaurs and there's just all sorts of fun info in here. And I it, I have found it to be one of my favorite kind of encyclopedia, it's not really an encyclopedia, but my favorite just overall dinosaur book with lots of information in it. If you're just gonna get one, like um, one of these, I really do like this one. And parts of it are told more, I just wanna say like parts of it are told more as a story as well. Um, I'm not sure if I can find a good example, but it's, you know, you're wandering through a field of ferns when you hear a rumbling sound and feel the ground trembling. So it's told in the context of you being an explorer and going back into the time of the dinosaurs. We have eyewitness dinosaurs. I just had this. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying it if you don't have it. You could totally take it out from the library or whatever. It does have great pictures in it. Um, but other than that, I just don't find myself using these books as much. They're not living books and um, they're good for resources. Oh, they're still sticking around there. Um, <laughs> I think this was gifted to us. Um, my parents had a lot of them from when I was younger. So um, that's where I get a lot of these. So I put it out for the kids to look at and I don't know if they really even did. The Complete Guide to Dinosaurs is one that we also had. Um, and this is a this is a nice one. It's got some really nice pictures in it. And they're more so like, it looks like they're, they're drawings that kind of look like photographs in some ways. Um, it goes into different types of it's. So I guess these are technically not dinosaurs, but prehistoric animals, the um, reptile, the ocean reptiles and such. So there's a lot of good info in here as well. This was a new one for us. This is dinosaurology and um, we have dragonology and we really enjoy it. So I decided to get this and I'm glad I did. We had fun reading this one. It's told, um, so the story in it is obviously fictional. It's uh, about a team of explorers that go to this island that there's rumored to still be dinosaurs on. Um, and they explore and talk to the villagers. And we just read it through um, a couple pages at a time, not all at once, but kind of like a story. And as you go through it, there's also just lots of real information about dinosaurs um, but it's told in the context of the story and it's got cool um, flaps and things like that so that's dinosaurology and I recommend this one highly as well this is an Usborne book and this is life-size dinosaurs I thought this was super cool all right let's see if I can find a good picture it shows you life-size parts of dinosaurs so it would it'll show you the life-size part and then in context, how they used it. So obviously the Utah Raptor is not life size here. It was in the previous picture, but it tells you a little bit about the Utah Raptor. So, um, and it obviously has this T-Rex. It has, I believe a T-Rex mouth or teeth inside. I'm gonna find it for you. Hold on. Some life size eggs, cool. Okay, are you ready? So this is the life-size Tyrannosaurus mouth and teeth, which just really gives you, it's like a great impact of how big these creatures really were. I mean, you could see me next to the mouth. It could easily eat me up. Very glad they're not living today. <laughs> this is life-size dinosaur. That is one that I, I recommend. We've got dino tracks, and this is obviously about dinosaur tracks. Um, it's a story of how, like, what happened and how the tracks were made. And 
And then they were found, obviously, thousands and thousands of years later. And it gives you some information in the back. I don't know if we used this information or not. I don't think we did. Um, but that's just, it's, it's in story context, so that's always great. We have Magic School Bus in the Time of the Dinosaurs. What science unit would be complete without Magic School Bus, right? Um, so this, you know, it's a Magic School Bus. You could also find the video, you know, if you want your kids to watch, I think they have the um, film version of this or the TV show version of this book as well. And they might have other dinosaur ones in the TV show by now as well. So um, if you don't know Magic School Bus, you should definitely look up Magic School Bus, Miss Frizzle. But in the time of the dinosaurs, my kids always enjoy the Magic School Bus books. Another favorite is Magic Tree House. This happens to be one subject where we have a Magic School Bus and a Magic Tree House. Uh, usually Magic School Bus focuses on, focus on science issues and Magic Tree House focuses on history. And dinosaurs happen to be both science and history. So uh, we've got Dinosaurs Before Dark. You know, my kids had already heard it before. It was one of their favorites. So um, we just incorporated it into the study just because they liked it. And it's dinosaur themed. And this is kind of just a weird one. This is Nibbles Dinosaur Guys. This is the second Nibbles book. Um, this was just for fun. It does have a little bit of information, but I didn't really use it for the information, right? I have I have a lot more books that have good info for us, um, but it's a Nibbles book, and and they love the other Nibbles book, and they thought this one was fun as well. It's it's funny. It's really it's well done. So that's Nibbles. This was not part of the stack I showed you before, but this is our Dinosaur and Prehistoric Life Encyclopedia. And this is great for just looking things up. Um, it has different dinosaurs in it, but then it also has, let me see if I can show you an example here. Um, well, this is like an example of a page of, on a particular dinosaur, but then it has, so this talks about stomach stones. Um, nests and eggs here so it has additional information and it also has some other prehistoric ancient life and age of mammals so it's not just dinosaurs as well but that's just it was fun little resource encyclopedia for us to use those are all the books that we read but i couldn't resist getting a bunch of resources and some we already had i will show you as well but these these are all from usborne and these are color and pop-up dinosaurs and we actually never got to this <clears throat> but we can always do it later. So there's pages where you can color in and then there's pieces in the back. Um, it's hard to show you right now, but there's pieces that can then be pop up and taped or glued here uh, that the kids can do. So this is one they need a little bit more assistance for, um, which is why we didn't get to it. But um, those are really fun for a dinosaur unit or a dinosaur activity. If your kids just love dinosaurs, would be great um, holiday presents. We have the Build Your Own Dinosaur Sticker Book. So let me show you a little bit. My kids did a lot of these. So they have stickers. Um, so these have been covered in stickers. There were parts here that were left. You can kind of see the inside of the dinosaur. And so they were able to cover it up. And also has information on the dinosaur in there. I'm showing you a lot of Utah Raptor in this video, apparently. So I did get one also for each of my kids. So they each had their own of those. This one is a dinosaur's picture puzzle book, and this was just for them to look at for fun. Um, it's, you know, you can answer some of these questions, who's wearing a bow tie? So you could look for the one with the bow tie. Um, you could just look through and try to find different things. So there, it's just kind of a fun book. And this would also be a really great one to bring along, maybe to like in the car or to a restaurant, because it could keep them occupied mm -hmm. for a while. And there's a lot you could look at and talk about in there. This next resource here is from Fiddlesticks Kids, and this is actually two separate products. These are the dinosaur flashcards, and these are the dinosaur fossil flashcards, and I will have her linked below. And what I did is I put them together. <clears throat> I don't know if she made them to be paired together. They just work really well together. But there's different dinosaurs here that she she has them beautifully watercolored. I love, I love her art. And then um, there are, this one works out well. There are different things that you could find, like you could find a fossilized egg. Now this is a para, parasaurolophus like egg, and here's a parasaurolophus. So I had my daughter go through and match the different fossils, this is a triceratops horn, with their dinosaur. 
And there's, you know, there's clues. Like if it's a horn, obviously there's only so many dinosaurs that have horns, but it also encouraged her to read because to match it, she, a lot of them she had to read where the dinosaur was and read what the item is. It says the kind of item on here. This is an Archaeopteryx feather print. Yes. Um, and again, they're beautiful. And I'll insert a picture here. I don't think she was using a work rug like she should have, but of her matching them. <laughs> Some more fun resources. Uh, this is something we also already had. My kids have done multiple times, but this would be great to get for Dinosaur Unit if you don't already have it. I love these Melissa and Doug. This one's a 48 pieces. They also have 24 pieces. I think they might have some bigger ones too, but we really enjoy this 48 piece size is really good for preschoolers. Um, so this is their dinosaur one. Another activity that we did are these wood puzzles and I will insert pictures of them. We didn't use glue, so they don't hold up super well. So I actually saved their pieces um, in a box. I've got the box here um, so they can do them again. Although I have both the, I think it's the Brachiosaurus uh, yeah, it's a Brachiosaurus and my son had a T-Rex, so they're both kind of mixed up. So it'll be a challenge, but, um, yeah, I saved that so they could do it again in the future. Maybe next time we use glue, but that was fun. They spent a lot of time working on them and putting them together. And I think it was a really good exercise and activity for them. Next, I'm going to show you the games. Uh, most of these we already had. The first one is card line dinosaurs. These ones, um, you, you try to put them in order of, I believe it's like weight or height. Um, or length and this is a fun one. My daughter already had this. She'd gotten it for a holiday at some point uh, This one I got new for the unit and it's the dinosaurs professor noggins card game And we have fun playing with this one. It's it's trivia questions basically on dinosaurs, but it's Doable for, it's totally doable for kids and they enjoy it. This one's actually a math game It's dino math tracks that we had gotten for my daughter a while ago um, and it, it you play with place value, but it uses dinosaurs and a woolly mammoth. I don't know why they didn't just use four dinosaurs. One of the things is a woolly mammoth, but they did and we enjoy it and it's fun to incorporate into school for math and dinosaurs. The last game is Dinosaur Escape. Oh, and this is actually a cooperative game by Peaceable Kingdom. And um, we've had this one for a while. It's good for youngish kids. It does have some small parts, so not for toddlers, um, but they, you're trying to get all the dinosaurs to an island that's safe from the volcanic explosion and the volcano gets built throughout the time. So it's it's a really fun game. My kids enjoy it and it's great for a dinosaur unit. A couple other fun things we did, inspired by this life-size dinosaur book I showed you before, it has in the back the measurements of some of the dinosaurs. And so it tells you like this, it, the Tyrannosaurus was 30 of these life-size books. And I didn't use the book itself, but I was inspired by that and we went outside and we measured out a couple dinosaurs just in chalk. We got a measuring tape, we looked up how long they were, and we just measured out what they would be, you know, tail to head. Um, and then the Apatosaurus was so long, I had my kids run the length of it back and forth uh, to get out some energy and just, it really, um, it really drives home how big the dinosaurs were. Uh, that was fun. The other thing that we did um, that I will insert pictures and videos here is uh, we did a dino dig that I made myself. So I just bought some uh, little dinosaur skeleton toy things and uh, I put them in some old Tupperware with, um, I basically made oobleck and then let it harden. So I, I got this idea from a blog post and I will link it below, I can't remember what the blog was. At the current moment. So you just make oobleck, I poured it over the little dinosaur skeleton things and then I let it harden for about a day and then uh, let my kids just dig through with tools. It was pretty fast, um, it was definitely easier than our other <laughs> dig kits, much less expensive as well. Um, and then they can play with the, the dinosaur skeletons that I got them. So that was fun. The one tip, um, you might already know this, but I had not done oobleck or cornstarchy things before. And um, I had tried to pre-make it before we did the unit and it was a couple weeks and I went to pull it out and it had mold all over it of many different colors. <laughs> it was a good chemistry experiment, but not really what I wanted my kids digging in. So I had to, to toss those and um, redo the whole thing, but it was fine. It doesn't take very long, but just a, a hint, you might want to do it 
you know, like the next day or two, <laughs> within a week, I would say. Um, and I think part of the problem was I put the lids back on the Tupperware for it too and that, that trapped in moisture. So also, don't do that. The last thing I want to add in this video is we have dinosaur toys and we have all different dinosaur toys and these are plastic and I would honestly prefer to have wooden ones, but it's what we have. So I pulled them out for my kids and um, we were able to do some of our other subjects, particularly math with them. Uh, especially with my son, he's doing kind of cards and counters uh, part of Montessori now, which is where you lay out, you know, the one through 10 or zero through nine or zero through 10 um, cards. And then you put that many objects underneath that card. So I had him do that with dinosaurs since we're doing a dinosaur unit. Um, and I could always pull them out again later just for fun. And I don't always, you know, incorporate other subjects within our units or our units into other subjects. I like to just do it for, you know, this is science for us right now. Um, but sometimes it's fun if you have materials to just do that. And, and a lot of the Montessori practical life and some of the math and everything really lends itself well to that kind of thing. So um, there's lots of other things you could use this for. If you have younger kids, they could sort by size or color. Um, you could have them measure just, if you have the toys, just measure the toys. Um, so I'm sure you can come up with even more creative ways to use them. And then of course, just imaginative play. They're playing with them and it's so fun. Often you'll see when they're playing things that they learned, uh, that we read about together, they learned in other ways, will come out in their play. And that's really, really fun to watch for. That was our dinosaur unit. There are so many resources out there for dinosaurs. I can't possibly have all of them, but these are some that we really enjoyed and what we had. And hopefully it will give you some ideas for your dinosaur unit as well. Please click the thumbs up below if you like this and of course subscribe if you haven't yet. I have more homeschooling videos planned, a lot more unit studies coming up this year for both science and history, as well as planning videos, gardening videos, um, motherhood and parenting in general. So I hope you'll subscribe and find something that you enjoy. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.